Okay, in this uh, short video, I'm going to talk about how you set up your three different flight modes on your NASA controller. I'm going to set up the GPS mode, attitude mode, and manual mode. As well as this, I'm going to set up the return to home button, which will override all three functions and basically land your multi copter with no input from your radio. The diagram shown here is supplied from the manual, and it shows how to connect your radio to the controller. They recommend using auxiliary 2 for JR receivers. Channel 7 for Futaba receivers and for SBUS, use the SBUS connection. These, uh, all these connections, depending on what radio or receiver you've got, connect to the U socket in the controller. In this video, I'll be using SBUS. Okay, I need to check uh, what my three way channels are assigned to, so I go to my uh, auxiliary channel, go to channel 7, and make sure that my three way switch is set to channel 7. So that's all my three modes. Okay, what we need to do next is uh, adjust the endpoints on channel 7 to make sure that it sits within the, uh, the three parameters, GPS, attitude, and manual mode. What I'm going to do is go into my endpoints in my radio, and then I'm going to go down to channel 7, which is my uh, three-way switch assignment, and then I'm going to uh, adjust my endpoints to make sure when I flick the switch, they sit within the three parameters I just showed earlier. Right, first of all, I'm going to set the uh, manual mode, so put the switch in the manual position, and there's my endpoints currently at the moment. Now, all I've got to do is adjust my endpoints, uh, looking at the uh, NASA controller, just turn my uh, endpoints up and down, and make sure it sits in the manual position, and the manual will be highlighted in blue. Then I'll then move it into attitude mode, and then make sure that the arrow is pointing in the middle of the attitude um, position, as you can see, it's highlighted blue here. Then I'm going to move it to the GPS position and just ensure that the arrow sat nicely in the middle of the GPS um, range. As you can see, as I move it up and down, it uh, turns it on and off. So now they're all sat in the three ranges perfectly. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, what I'm going to try and achieve here is set up the return to home function in any of the three modes it would be flying in at the time. So I've got it set to manual at the moment, and if I flick the return to home, it goes to the fail safe. Now if I flick it to the attitude mode, press the return to home button, it moves into the fail safe zone, which is fine. Now if I move it to the uh, GPS mode, which is the last one, press the return to home button, it moves into the fail safe zone. Okay, what I've just shown is actually controlled by a radio function called channel mixing. As my flight modes are controlled by channel 7 to the NASA, what I need to do is assign a separate two-way switch on my radio to alter the values of channel 7 so it moves the values outside the three modes. Okay, now I'm just going to go into my uh, advanced mode of my Futaba and go into my mixing menu. I'm going to set up a mix number 1 and what I'm doing here is assigning that mix to switch G. Now switch G is my return to home button, showing now it's uh, set to off at the moment. Now what it's going to do is this mix is going to affect channel 7. It doesn't matter about the master, the master is just a spare unassigned channel at the moment. Okay, it's showing at the moment there's no mixing at all, it's all set to zero. So low and high values of my rate are set to zero. I'll now move on showing how we adjust the rate to adjust the mixing on channel 7 so it adjusts the different modes and moves them into the fail safe position okay now for the fun bit setting the mixing uh, I'm just going to quickly check that all my three modes are working so I've got manual mode attitude mode and GPS and they're all working fine landing in the uh, correct zones now there's my uh, return to home button which currently has no effect to the operation of the uh, hexcopter at the moment that's because there's no mixing and also the mixing is off. So just going to turn my mixing on and you can show it's just changed status to mix on. But because there's no values, it's not going to do anything. Okay, I'm set to manual mode at the moment. So what I'm going to do is adjust my low value on my rates and I'm going to change the percentage value from zero, which is no mixing. And I'm going to increase that value until I start seeing the arrow move outside the manual zone. So you can see it's moving right, it's turned blue outside of manual, and I know that is in fail-safe mode. You can see that on the bottom of the screen, says so fail-safe. Okay, so I know that's pretty good for manual. So now I'm going to flick it to attitude mode, and I'm just going to make sure 
that it sits in the fail safe. So the fail safe's on, and as you can see, it's to the right of attitude and it's on fail safe. So if I flick the switch, it goes from attitude, which is fail safe off, I'll turn fail safe on, and it moves into the fail safe zone. So I know the attitude's set up fine. So next thing I'm going to do is make sure the GPS is set up right. So GPS mode on, and I'm just going to flick my fail safe switch and make sure it moves into the fail safe zone out of the GPS zone. So that's looking pretty good. It's slightly out, it's slightly to the left. I'm not really happy with that, so I'm just going to tweak it just so it sits a little bit more inside the fail safe. So there's my value, it's about 50% on my low value. So all I'm going to do now is just check that it works in all modes. So GPS on and it goes into fail safe, move it to uh, manual mode, turn my fail safe on, it goes into fail safe move it to the attitude and flick the button and it moves to the fail safe zone so that's all pretty good and that pretty much concludes setting up the uh, the fail safe for all three modes